how to do your taxes on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies for 2018 in 2019. So I've been getting some messages from people that are um, asking how I do my taxes. So I really wanted to share with you kind of my updated method um, to see if that's helpful for you guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on the internet that likes to talk about crypto. So first off, before I share my method with you, I wanna make sure that you know um, that there are a ton of myths that are floating around out there about crypto and about taxes. And um, I made a video last year that talks about taxes and cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna link that up and you know, watch that video because if you're thinking about doing a 1031 exchange, uh, man, I really caution you against that. And I talk about that in the beginning part of the video. The other thing is, is you know, people are saying that because cryptocurrencies are private, the government can't tell that you've you know, bought or sold them. And man, if that's you, if you're in that camp and you're gonna take that stance, I really caution you against doing that. Um, so watch that video. There's a bunch of myths that I talk about on the beginning of that video that I think are really important and they still apply today because I still hear them uh, a lot. So how do I do my taxes with cryptocurrency? I have a really easy method and I think that my approach to doing taxes for my crypto stuff is about as conservative as it gets. That means that I track every single crypto thing that I do and I make sure that any gains that I make on them are reported for taxes and that I'm appropriately paying taxes on those gains. Um, the other cool thing about this is by tracking things really well, if I happen to take a loss on a crypto trade or exchange, then those actually get incorporated into my taxes too. So it really does work both ways. But here's my method, take it or leave it, that I've been using for a pretty long time now and I've kind of honed it in, I think, pretty good, and I just continue to use it, and it's worked for me. Step one for me is that I enter every single transaction as I make it into a coin tracking software. So there's a lot of these out there. Um, there's a lot of different coin tracking solutions, but I use, the, the one I use is named coin tracking. It's cointracking.com, and uh, there's a link in the description where you guys can go. What's cool about this is that you guys get completely free access to this uh, software if you do under 200 trades uh, per year. So I know a lot of you guys don't do more than 200 trades a year. So go check out Coin Tracking. You can get the software completely for free and you can use it completely for free and it does all of your tracking needs for you. It's really cool. I've been using Coin Tracking for a really long time. You guys know when I find something that works, I usually just stick with it. So why would I want to really do anything else, right? Coin tracking has always been dependable for me. So I use that software. Now my first job throughout the entire year is that I'm trying to make my coin tracking account match every single thing that I do with crypto. Um, so I am a little bit crazy about this throughout the year. That means whenever I'm doing anything to do with cryptocurrency, if I'm you know buying Bitcoin, um, through Coinbase or I'm moving you know, something to an exchange or any single thing that I do with crypto, as soon as I do that, I open up my coin tracking account and I manually enter that into my coin tracking account. So I'm really diligent about making sure that um, the coin tracking account that I have reflects exactly what has gone on for the year. What's cool about doing it this way is that at the end of the year when I go to do my taxes, the only thing I'm really doing is making sure that all of my accounts, like I'll go into all of my exchanges and uh, all of my wallets and I'll download a, a transaction history. And I'm just going through those just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. As long as all of that stuff is there, I'm literally done. So the only thing that I have to do for the year is I run a tax report within coin tracking. You just uh, click on tax report and you pull down and you basically just run um, a report out of coin tracking and I take that report to my accountant and then she does my taxes for me using that report. Um, the only other thing that I do is I make sure that from all my exchanges and my wallets and pretty much every place that I've done crypto online that I download the supporting documents for the year of all the transactions that have happened on those platforms and all I do is I just keep those in a file um, so that if the IRS showed up for whatever reason you know, if they audited me, I could just say, well, here's all the stuff from all the exchanges. Here's my coin tracking account. And then, you know, this is what my accountant did using that information. 
So I'm pretty much covered. So the reason that I like to do it this way is because it kind of takes the stress out of uh, tax season for me, right? As long as during the year, anytime I'm doing crypto, I'm making sure to keep that coin tracking account um, really kind of up to date with what's been going on. And then I literally just have to run a report at the end of the year and I'm done. Um, so if you guys haven't done anything with cryptocurrency taxes for the year, like you haven't done any tracking, I know a lot of people are in that boat. Um, and I've said this in years past, but if that is you, then year one probably is going to kind of suck for you because you're going to have to go back to all of your exchanges, all of your wallets, everywhere you've done crypto online, and you're going to have to download a history of all the transactions that you've made. And then you're going to have to make your coin tracking account match what has been going on in those places. And that takes a little bit of work. It, it takes some diligence. You can take some shortcuts, like you can, um, you can actually import CSV files into coin tracking instead of having to like manually enter every single transaction. But to be honest, like I, even if I'm doing a CSV file import, I actually go through line by line just to make sure that everything uh, matches anyway. So I'm a really big fan of just manually entering everything into coin tracking. Now I realize there's a ton of other ways to do it and I'm by no means saying that the way that I um, track my crypto and do this is the best way because I'm sure there is a much more streamlined way that you could do it. Um, and so if you, you guys have your other methods, I would say if it's working for you, stick with it. Um, but there is no substitute for um, having a CPA, having eyes on what it is that you're doing. So I would say whatever it is that you're doing, however you're keeping track of your crypto stuff, uh, make sure that you're telling your CPA and you're really working with them um, and letting them know how you're doing that so that they can you know, make sure that you're uh, really in line with what you should be doing to report to the IRS. All right, so that's how I keep track of everything for taxes uh, for everything that I do with crypto. Hope that helps.